Hi guys, so today I'm gonna do something different for my channel. I normally don't do reviews of pens or even show things like this, but I've been getting it back into um, using my fountain pens and I have, you know, Waterman and Parker and, um, uh, sorry, I'm just looking out my window and I see a boy sitting across the street with his head in between his legs. Hope he's okay. He just picked his head up. Not a good look when you're kind of looking around and you're like, what's going on here? Okay, he looks okay. Anyway, um, so I wanted to try out some of these cheap Chinese things because you know I love AliExpress and even though, you know, what happened with my other channel, whatever, I still go to AliExpress and I encourage everyone to do that if you like because they have some great things. But I picked up some Jin Hao pens, but I got these on Amazon. So I'm just gonna show you because obviously AliExpress takes weeks to come in, even some on Amazon because it's still a Chinese seller. But um, a lot of people are like, oh, I got these on eBay or, you know, possibly Amazon or no one ever says they pick up their pens on AliExpress and I don't have any problem with it. Like I said, they always, I've never been burned by AliExpress and I've ordered hundreds, if not probably thousands of things. So um, just to let you know, but these are all from Amazon. I also picked up some ink. So um, I have the Waterman Mysterious Blue ink in 50 mLs and I think this was just over eight bucks or something. And I got some Mont Blanc ink, which I'm not gonna use today because it is a little more expensive, but it's a huge bottle. So I have the Mont Blanc um, Burgundy Red and I think this one is a, um, a toffee brown, which looks really pretty. So, um, cause it has a lot of shading kind of just built in as you use it, but look at that gorgeous Mont Blanc symbol there. And it's a big, big um, pot. So I'll put that to the side. Uh, I did just get in some Rhodia. All this came in from Amazon today, so I ordered it two days ago and it's here. So this one is the Rhodia of just blank uh, notepad. Uh, just because I have been playing with my pens and I didn't have paper that really works with them. So so here they are. It's the Jin Hao Pens um, 750, the Jin Hao 750. Now, this is a pack of five. I think they have a pack of four that was like a dollar or two less, but I'm like, well, for two more bucks, you get another pen. So I went with a five pack. And then they have two different styles in this five pack, but I went with this one here that has some purple pen and um, it's not glittery, but it's like a shimmery pen. They have some different things. So I did not bring scissors up here and I probably should have scissors here because it is my old craft table, but ugh, I don't know if this is gonna work. But what's kind of bothersome is that this is exactly how they packaged it. And they just have a little pen case. It's just like a little velvet thing. But in the box, there was only like that. Those thick, like, puffy air sack things that they put in your um, orders. I'm going to try to pull this. And, uh, and no kind of protection. They were just in the box, like, flopping around, hitting everything. So, I mean, I think these probably could have been served well by, you know, being wrapped in some bubble wrap. Which, if you ever order from AliExpress, you know they wrap things in bubble wrap like crazy. So... And they are individual little bags. This one's stuck together. <laughs> they put them in together, that's funny. Okay, well, I don't know if that's just a defect or what, but there they are. So, super cheap. I think this was 19 bucks for the five of them. Yeah, because I think I remember thinking it was almost $4 a pen, but you can probably find them for cheaper, to be honest, on AliExpress, but again, you're gonna wait several weeks to get them. So, it has a nice weight. It's a gorgeous pen. Um, I mean, as you can see, it's really pretty. This one's a silver one. We have a gold with a silver clip and silver band. It's really substantial feeling. These feel really nice. This is the fun one. Um, I had seen this one and I thought, is it glittery or does it have texture? I couldn't tell. It just has texture because I knew to know that they do have glittery ones, but it's black with like that galaxy looking glitter. But this is textured to have this look. I hope you can see that. Um, this purple one, I think I ordered a purple one already from AliExpress, but I was like, well, it's in there and you know, I can always give one away if, you know need be and then this one's kind of like kind of like a rose gold so let's open this up and i don't know if it screws off or what's going on here okay it looks like you just pop it and there you have this part does feel a little bit cheaper it's plastic and it doesn't feel that heavy but you have um your pen of course to end there the grip area here has a little step at the end it feels really nice and then it has your nib and i believe this is a medium let me see it doesn't say, but most time they're pens. It might've said fine. I think it said medium and their mediums are really wet is what it seems like people have been reporting. And there's the back of the pen there. Um, it does say 18 K GP, meaning 18 karat gold plate. Obviously it doesn't have gold plate, but they have other pens that do have some gold plating. So what they're gonna do is to make it kind of inexpensive, they stamp out all their nibs. And the ones that are gonna get gold plating get gold plating and the other ones don't. 
So there's that. We're gonna unscrew this, see what kind of system it is. It has a converter. Um, apparently these are international converters, everyone always says. That's what they say too. You can take this out, all you do is pull it out. You can put in um, a small um, refill cartridge. You don't have to use the converter, I believe. You can put in a long, convert, uh, long uh, cartridge too. It looks like it takes both of them. At least that's what it looks like. You can just compare whatever cartridges you might have. Some of the Jinhaos do come with um, ink, but this one did not. And there's the guy. And you know what's so funny? Back in the day, I had no idea how to use this. It came with my Waterman. I'm like, I don't know what this is. So I never used it. It says Jin Hao on it. And basically, all you're going to do is leave this in here, put it into your ink, and use this little plunger. Well, you're not going to push down. You're going to have that down to begin with. And as you pull, turn it, it's going to suck ink into this reservoir here. And that's how you're going to get your ink into your pen. So to show you guys that real quickly, I think what I'm going to do, I'll just use this one. Why not? Um, I have paper towel here. Hopefully it won't get too messy. I'll move these other guys to the side. They all have a nice weight. I did see a review where somebody showed that one of their pens was crushed. It arrived that way. So obviously, and then some people say, oh, four of the five pens worked or three of the five pens worked for this price, you know, big deal. Um, if you want to return them, you have to return all five, of course. But I think with Amazon, if they know you're returning something and you want an exchange, they'll send you the new one before you return the other one. Um, but if you don't get the other one within 30 days, they charge you for both, right? So I think what you should probably do is just hold on to both, you know, sets. And obviously you can't pick and choose your colors. So you have to return what it is. But at least maybe the one that you got that was messed up, maybe that same color comes in and it's good, you know? Hopefully that makes sense. So... Here's our ink. It says water in made in France, approximately two ounces. It's a 50 ml. I told you it was not too expensive. So let's try this. I have not tried doing this ever before actually filling my own pen. So let's go in here. I usually just use the cartridges. So I'm a little bit lazy that way. All right. Well, there's my son laughing at some video games, even though I told him I'm gonna make a video. So here we are. It's already turned all the way up. Sorry. We want it to go back down. And some people like to go up and down, up and down a few times. I'm going to place this in the ink here and just start turning it. I know you can't see, but I'll stop in the middle here as I... Sorry, I had to settle down my son. So let's start turning it. I was turning it the wrong way. I know it's hard to see. I'm going to try to get my hands out of the way, but let's start turning. And hopefully you can kind of see that the ink is coming in. I don't want to get too much air. You have to get that in there. So I just want to show you what it looks like right now. It filled up to here. So there's that little space there and it's getting less because some of it, it has to really get into your nib and into this whole area. So once it starts doing that, it's gonna pull this in, right? So let's pump it down a little bit out, like some people do. And you're gonna pump the whole thing back out and then pump it back <laughs> and see if we get more this time. Some people do two or three times and it is, there's a little bit more. I could probably do it again, but as you see this time there's a less of a gap here. So that's fine. I'll leave it like that. And this is the bummer about ink is that you have to um, make sure that's in there nice and tight. When I held it, I first held it from this nib part. You'd want to hold it from the converter because um, you can easily, if you're holding this and you're turning this, you might detach that and you don't want to detach that. So hold it from this plastic end and do your little turning there. And I'm gonna put this back on here. I guess you don't have to put this back on here if you want to clean it up first, but I'm going to go ahead and just wipe that off. It's already very juicy, as you can see. That's what trips me out about that, that you dip it in there. It's like, oh my gosh, it makes such a mess. But here we are, as long as you have things <laughs> that can suck up that mess for you or that you don't mind getting on your fingers, um, on your surface, just be careful. I'm gonna make sure this is all cleaned up here. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so this should be ready to go. Now, of course, I'm not gonna have an update right now because I'm just filming this as my first impressions. And most of the time people open their, their little, look how cute this is, this Rodia. Yeah. And it's not too expensive, guys, if you wanna get this paper. I got this size because I do want just like a notepad, like if I'm gonna write out a kitchen list and I'd probably cut it in half because it's not expensive, but it's not cheap and it's not, it's not, uh, I don't need a big piece of paper, right, to make a kitchen list, because I can even write it down here, or grocery list, should I say. So this is, again, the Jin Hao 750, is that what I said? That sounds like what I said. <laughs> Let's see here. Yep, 
Um, yeah, I think it's a uh, medium nib because that's what it says on there. Medium nib. I have not written in cursive in a long time, you guys. Let me get a little bit closer. Um, what else can I say about this? Um, you know, less than 20 for five. That's on Amazon. Is that okay? I know I'm so messy. And that's the one thing, I think that's kind of why I went away from fountain pens. You have to be more deliberate as, what, as far as what you're writing um, than with just a regular pen, but they're so much fun. And to be honest, like how much ink did I use of that? And that fill up the sink. So this should last like if writing quite often, quite a bit for like a week. And, um, and you have all that ink left. You know, I used to use these when I was uh, working as a counselor um, at Fresno State. But anyway, um, I just like them. So let's see, uh, what else can I write? I don't really have anything else to say, but I think that's pretty good. Um, the other thing people like to see when you're reviewing stuff is like, okay, let's say this is no pressure. I'm just barely, and then if I start pushing down more, um, there it is. I don't know if you can see how juicy this is or not. I hate to run my finger into ink, but let's say you wrote something. I mean, that's pretty wet, right? So um, obviously I don't think it's something you're gonna be writing notes in class that you why you want something drier, uh, maybe the fine point, but this is really good. Um, I'm not really good at doing this kind of thing. I'm gonna push down when I come down here. Hope you can see you can get a little variation. It's not, um, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't give you that much variation as far as the line. I mean, that's very little pressure and that's a lot. So I'm, I'm not good at this kind of thing. <laughs> I just use them as pens. I'm not into like the calligraphy stuff. So I don't even know like, Oh, you press down when you go up and you do that. You know, I have no idea. That looks like this is jello, but it's supposed to say hello. So, you know, pretty nice. I mean, it works. If that's what we're looking for, like for something to work. Let me see if this is gonna smear. Okay, this is from what I wrote earlier. It's already dry, already dry. Oh, the thick lines are still wet. So that gives you an idea. Maybe it takes about a minute to dry fully if you're just using it and not, you know, pushing down like I did there. So thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope to have more cause I, I am not kidding. I think I ordered uh, maybe 50 pens. <laughs> cause they're like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. I think the most expensive pen I ordered from AliExpress is like a five buck one. So I'll definitely do reviews. A lot of them, you know, when I say 50, they were like in a set of two or three or four or um, they were for children cute little like Asian like designs and stuff. And I was like, that's adorable. So I want them for like my daughter to play with or my son. So get them going on something like this and maybe they'll like it too. Just like um, I did when I was you know younger, I fell in love with fountain pens. So thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope that gave you a little encouragement. If you want to try one out, you can only, you don't have to buy a whole pack of five. I think on Amazon they have one at a time too and they're like four or five bucks, um, I believe. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.